Today we're talking about accessories for your DJI Mavic 3. That's right, the DJI Mavic 3. I went and I bought most things that I thought might be interesting for you guys and might come in handy. So we're gonna go through all these accessories. I did get one of them for free, by the way, and that is the PGY Tech case that you can see here for a more detailed review, but I will include it because it's something that I've been using all the time. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's start with the PGY Tech case. It is a hard case. It holds your drone, four batteries, and basically all the accessories you need to fly. It's waterproof, it is standproof, and you know, it's great for taking your drone around. Next thing. Yep, these little guys. These, in fact, I have two of them, are landing gears, look at these. They're actually really nicely made. One of them is by Sunny Life. Quite a few things here actually by Sunny Life because they do make accessories. The other one is a no-name, but I will try and add a link to everything that I show you today. The no-name is like the one you saw for the Mini 2. It basically clicks onto the bottom of your drone using the various holes, where is it? This way. And uh, when you click it on, it kind of just sits there and it allows your drone to be a little bit higher off the ground. It is solid though. The Sunny Life one is great and it does look like a crazy little spider. It also clicks on at the back to your vents and on the front underneath so it feels a little bit more secure. And the great thing about the Sunny Life one is that it folds up. Now, is it sturdy? Will it break? Well, you just gotta be kinda careful with it. This is all plastic stuff. Most of it ordered from AliExpress. So, you know, you're not, you're not paying an uh, arm and a leg for it. It's pretty cheap stuff, but it does the job. It keeps your drone off the ground if you're landing. I do also have another landing kit, which is this. This is the landing on water kit, but it is, <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous. I will do a separate video on this. As you guys know, I do like landing my waters on my waters. I do like landing my drones on water just for the hell of it. It might cost me a refresh, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it once I do alter that a little bit. Next thing are cases. These are also Sunny Life cases, and I gotta tell you, they're actually really, really nice. You can keep the um, sticks on, you put it in there, and you basically, oh, I put it upside down. You basically close it down and you have a nice little case to carry your controller in. This is for the original controller. There is one for the RC Pro as well, if you do have that. And inside it's got this nice kind of like, you know, fluffy, velvety, you know, kind of insert. So it keeps everything nice and neat. And looking at it, it wouldn't be able to be any smaller and be comfortable at the same time and safe. So it's nice instead of having, you know, a huge case, you can basically put it in here. Mind you, a controller I don't really care about. I kind of just chuck it in. I know I take the sticks off. I know nothing's really going to happen to it. There is, however, a large one just for your drone, which is great because you can basically put all this in and you can stick your drone inside right there. And it looks like this. So the same kind of, you know, lining inside, nice fluffy velvet, close it and you have a case like this. So, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to stick in your bag. If you just have your drone and a battery, you can basically stick it in here. I have had a lot of people asking about these and I've got to tell you, it's really nicely padded. It feels secure in there. Next thing, which actually fits in there is a gimbal protector. So if you don't want the whole crazy you know, BDSM thing, you have this gimbal protector, which quite nicely goes over the top here, clicks in, and you have something that looks like this. And it's, you know, hard plastic so you can hammer it and nothing is gonna happen to your gimbal. And it kind of clicks into the two holes underneath your Mavic 3. Taking it off is very simple. And that is also by Sunny Life, and it looks like this. Nice little thing. Coming back to PGY Tech, we have a landing pad. In case you guys need landing pads, you know, it's like a helipad, so it looks like this, folds out, and on one side it's gonna be blue, 
and on the other side it's going to be orange. PGY Tech, really nice, it feels secure, it comes with a little bag, so in case you're, you know, you're worried or about your drone, I know a lot of people don't give a rat's ass about this kind of stuff, but I know a lot of people do. I have one because I like using it, you know, when I'm in the sand or, you know, various places where I need to chuck that on the ground and land and it's a bit too windy to, you know, not cut my hands off. Next thing are filters. I am a huge fan of filters and these right here are the Freewell filters. You've got a pack and it goes from ND4, ND8, ND16 and ND32 and they are all PL filters, so hybrid filters. They're really easy to put on your drone and take off. You also have more P polarizer filters, P filters. <laughs> <laughs> an ND64, we have here an uh, CPL, so if you don't want an ND, you just have a CPL. And we have an ND1000, an ND2000 for long exposure photography. Comes with a nice little cloth. And these filters go on your drone and they make life a lot easier. I'm also waiting for a couple of filters from Ulanzi and a few other companies where you have wide filters and anamorphic filters and I'll be doing a separate video about those. Next thing is something quite interesting and it is 3D printed, but it's got a nice, you know, it's nicely done. It's got foam around it and it is actually quite secure and it is this. If you're worried about losing <laughs> your Mavic 3, then, but I've actually undone it, I, I always do that. Then you have this and it basically clips on the underside of your drone in these two little holes next to the, um, the LED lights and it is extremely secure. It's really nice and on there and it looks like this and you put your Apple Air tag in it. I have one that looks like this. I don't know if you guys can um, see that. PS with a little skull in the middle and in case you're flying a drone in an area where you think you might lose it, you can always stick this on and you know find it with an Air tag if you do lose it. So that's a pretty cool little thing. Like I said, it is 3D printed. And you know, some of these things are 3D printed because they come from AliExpress. I guess it's some guy in his, you know, in his studio, in his garage, just printing stuff off. But it is very flexible and you know, it, it works well. You stick the tag in there and it's, it's, it's cool. Same, same goes for this, by the way. It is 3D printed on top, but the rest is molded. So that's interesting that they kind of mix that together. Next thing is a Sunny Life light which is cool, it comes with a little Velcro. So you basically stick the Velcro to the top of your drone and then you put the light on. And it is USB-C rechargeable, which is great. And you basically have like, you know, like this red, green and white light. Then you just have the red light, green light, white light and off. So it's pretty cool and it is visible. It's quite a good distance because I've tried it once and I've done some extra Velcro cutouts and flying, you know, when magic hour is around and you can't see your drone perfectly, this on there flashes like clay, clay, like clazy. <laughs> what are these you ask me? Phil, what the hell is that crap you've got right there? This is by God knows who, but it's quite an interesting concept. We don't have waypoints yet. We don't have fly, you know, point to fly. This is basically something you click on like this, which is actually pretty cool for your Mini 2. And I'll do a separate video on it. And you screw it in. So this is, as you screw it in, the, the actual stick will move forward. So this is cruise control for your drone. So for example, the Mini 2, you can do cruise control. And if you just have it, a little bit forward. I mean, you can stick it forward all the way so it's going like crazy, but it's cruise control. So for example, for hyperlapse, you can just push it forward and your drone is flying forward. I will do a video and show you guys how that works. Same here. You can push up or you can turn it around and you can make it go, you know, in, in different directions. If shit's going down, you basically just pull them off and you're safe and your drone stops flying. These are really cheap and they're, they're just, it's a simple, simple design, also 3D printed, but it could come in handy for even the Mavic 3 doing stuff like, you know, fly to 
uh, waypoints mission, you know, stuff like that. Manually, let's say. Now, I have a couple more things. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can actually pick these up, believe it or not. It's like, you know, bowling. <laughs> and they're really easy. Sorry, wrong arm. They're really easy to put on. You basically slide on, you clip it on, and it is on there once you get it in there. There we go. And it looks like this. There you go. And you've got a little foot that comes out at the bottom. So it, you know, it makes your drone stand a little higher. And whatever you fly into, you'll basically be fine if you've clipped it on properly. So double check that. <laughs> and you obviously get four of them for the front and the back. So that's an interesting concept. DJI have not made their own, but these ones, they're pretty solid. If you crash into stuff, it's, you know, especially walls. I'm not talking about trees where the branch will go through and you'll really screw up. But places like if you're flying inside a church, you know, for example, and you're bing, bing, and you don't want to, break anything, then these will come in handy. I've tried them on my studio walls and um, yeah, it just bounces off, which is great. Last thing, which is something that's really actually been bugging me is, well, well, it's basically this. Sorry, DJI, I do love you guys, I really do. Don't take this wrongly, but you could have made this dark gray. But there are two companies that have come out with something like this. I basically got it in a box and I opened it and I was like, whoa, what is that? Well, this is what it is. It's made also by Sunny Life, as you can see right there. And it it's simple. You basically stick it in and it's actually, to my surprise, a fantastic fit. Look at that. Look at that. How good of a fit is that? The back is open and you have access to everything you want really really easy to access everything it's um it's nice to hold as well because it's this really nice black silicone it also comes for you you know i don't know how you guys do it but it also comes with a strap so you can you know pinch for you stick pinches out there you weirdos Ugh. It's okay, it, it seems like it's gonna last pretty long. You know, I mean, I guess it's something that you stick on once and you forget about it, but that's by Sunny Life. There is another company called BRDRC, Drone Accessories. They made one, you have to take your sticks off for this one. That is all around, and I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, I prefer this one, although it's difficult to get in, because it is like all around, but it's silicone, so it's it's, you know, it's that kind of, good hard silicone and once you get it on and you kind of slide everything into the position it's meant to be in, it's actually nicer. It does feel nicer. Take a look at that. That is actually like, it's completely snug. Even the LEDs have been cut out on the whole back. It, it just feels really good. So you put this on once and you forget about it. And what they've actually done is they've given you I don't know if this is separate. I might have bought this separately. They've given you this little piece for you pinchers that you slide on there and you have two little loopholes that you can stick in your strap. And you're all strapped up. So there you go. That's how it works. And you can now fly around, stick pinching, not holding in the controller, but you can actually lean it against your belly. If you have a belly like me, then you know, it's actually pretty simple. So grow your bellies, basically, is what I'm saying. No, I don't, I don't actually promote unhealthy living, but yeah. And it's easy to take off. You basically clip it off, ah, there you go. And it's out of there and you can close your controller back up because you won't be able to close it with this little thing for you stick pinches out there. And these are the accessories I have right now. I've used all of them. The one thing that I can't show you right now is is this. Like I said, I will do a separate film of landing on water with a Mavic 3. It's gonna be quite a scary film because I do not trust that thing. But when I finish with it, I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot more sturdy. It has, has a really bad design flaw. Anyway, any questions, um, drop them in the comments below. If you did like my film, 
give me a thumbs up. That really does help me, the channel, and the you know the film grow. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so because I'm going to be you know showing you how to fly this thing when it gets a little bit warmer. Because right now Poland, you know, winter, rain, sleet, ugh, not good stuff. Catch you guys soon. Hope you like this film because you know fun stuff. Water kit and funky filters and stuff will be coming soon.